welcome back to Slow Living. In this video, I will show you how I made a pair of old jeans that my husband got from a thrift store, how I turned them from a bootleg style, which sort of has that it comes out towards the bottom, kind of like a flare. It's not intended to be a flare, it's called bootleg. And I assume, I should probably look this up, but I assume the bootleg name comes from the fact that jeans used to be worn by um, people who wore boots. Look, I really need to fact check that. But basically, I assume that this shape was meant to come out of the bottom so that it would fit nicely over boots. That's basically what I was trying to say. Anyway, so in this video, I will show you how to turn that kind of bootleg style or flare style into more of a straight leg style. On this channel, I like to share some tips and tricks for how you can care for, mend or alter your garments. I really like to adopt this sustainable mindset in tailoring our clothing and really taking care of it will both benefit us and and our livelihoods as well as the environment and the social impacts of that. So do check out my channel if you are interested in how you can mend other garments. I'm gonna have future videos on how to take in skirts and things like that um, and how to mend rips in jeans. I think I already have a video that I will link up there for you. So do give this video a thumbs up if it's helpful for you and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Once you learn this basic technique, you can apply it not just to jeans, but to pants and also to skirts and things like that. So I hope that it is very helpful for you in customizing your garments. This particular pair of jeans I also uh, took up in length for my husband. And so I have another video that I can link where I show you exactly how to take up a pair of jeans properly um, and the step-by-step -step process. You can follow along to do that. Let's get started. Okay, so these are the jeans before. You can see they're quite long because I actually took them up as well. But from this back angle, you can really see how boot cut they are, how much they come out and they sort of look very flared. It's very important that if you want to take your pants up as well as in, then I would suggest cutting the length first, tapering it as I show you in this video, and then finishing the length as I will show you in another video that I will link above. Now, the first thing to recognize when you're taking in jeans is that there may be two different seams. As you can see here, there is one seam where the seams are pressed open and it's laying nice and flat. And on the other side, there's quite a bulky seam. Here, there are about three or four layers of fabric and you really kind of don't want to mess with that seam. If you see that your jeans have that, then I would recommend using this side instead to take in the jeans. And that's because we can use this seam as a regular seam and just simply sew straight down instead of messing around with the other seam, which is much more complicated. Now you can try the jeans on and then simply pinch in from the seam that we just recognized how much you'd like to taper in your jeans. I wouldn't recommend taking them in too much because we're doing a little bit of a hack here and we're not taking it in evenly from both sides of the leg, if that makes sense. We're actually only taking it in from one side and that's to make things a lot simpler than trying to sew over that complicated seam. When you've noted down how much you'd like to take your jeans in, just flip them inside out. Now double check again that you're dealing with the right seam. That complicated one there is the one you do not want to touch. Go to the other side and then fold it down flat so that we can start to take it in. It's important that you make the jeans nice and flat on the table so that we can start to take them in with no bumps or little creases or anything like that. That's the best way to get a really nice even taper. Once you've done that, you can find the knee point of where the jeans normally sit at around the knee. And that's because that's usually where the flare starts to come out. And so instead of that coming out, we're going to taper that in towards the hem of the jeans. Use your own measurement for how much you wanted to take in your jeans down at the hem. And then from the knee all the way to the hem, you want a nice straight line. And that'll make sure that your jeans come down nice and straight, not all wobbly and all over the place. I've used pins to mark mine. You can use chalk or an erasable marker, a washable marker, things like that, just to mark a really nice straight line. Um, that'll give you a guide for sewing. Now, because we're working with denim and it's a very thick fabric, I highly recommend that you change your needle to at least an 18. Usually a standard machine comes with a 14 and you really need something that's thicker to be able to go through all those layers of fabric. And once you have your thicker needle in your machine, we're ready to sew down. I like to start from the knee point and that's the point where we're sort of meeting the old seam line. And then from there, I'm gonna guide that down to the hem. And now it should look something like this. 
I'm not going to cut that off. Some people like to cut that off um, and overlock it so that there's less bulk, but because there was not a lot of fabric that I took them in, um, I decided to keep it there. And just in case we want to let it out at a later date, the fabric is still there and it would be a really simple fix. Now's the time to try the jeans on. So uh, admittedly from this footage, you really can't tell the difference between which side is tapered and which is not. Um, I believe the left leg is actually the one that's tapered, that one there that's being touched, and the other side has not been tapered. So I guess from this angle, you really can't tell. But later when we compare the before and after footage, you'll see that taking it in even just an inch or so makes quite a big difference overall. Now, if you weren't happy with how much you tapered your jeans, this is the time to make any changes before you do the other leg. If you're happy with it, now's the time to transfer the same measurements and the same amount of tapering over to the other leg. You can do this just by lining up the legs like I've done here, marking the same point around the knee at which you stopped the taper, and then making sure that you follow the same line all the way down to the hem so that each leg has around the same amount of cloth being taken in. Then you can go through the same process of marking it and then sewing straight down. Then you're pretty much done. All that's left to do now is to press it. Pressing will always give you a much neater and nicer, cleaner finish. So make sure that you press denim really well. It should be able to take quite a lot of heat. So have your iron turned up and the steam function on. Make sure that you press both sides of the seam as well. You get an even nicer finish that way. When you're finished pressing, your jeans are all done. Um, if you did need to take up the length of your jeans as well, now's the time to do that. And I'll make sure that I've linked that video um, in the description uh, below. Here you can see the slight difference between the original seam and then where we have taken it in. There's not a massive difference. And of course, from far away, no one's going to be able to see that. So your jeans are all done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to see if you had a go yourself. Leave a comment if you found this video helpful or if you had any questions, I would like to help you out with that. Otherwise, you can find me on Instagram at Slow Living and that's slow with an E. I do have other videos on how to take up jeans, how to mix, how to mix, how to, how to mend rips in jeans, how to darn socks and other things of how to take care of clothing. So go and check out my channel if those are videos you are interested in. I also recently did a series on thrift flips. So I bought a whole bunch of winter knits from Savers, a secondhand store, and I flipped them into new um, refreshed garments. So have a look at that if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching, for washing. Mm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.